Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking all about building, not like cleaning a building, building what you have into something more better, bigger, stronger, all that stuff. So if you're in business, thinking about starting a business, or heck, just want to hang out, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com. The greatest place in the world for window cleaning supplies, and you are here. Have a look around. Seven years of content. That's a lot. That's a lot of shows to go back. It's every week. We haven't missed one. And if you're watching the video, I'm like drenched and my shirt is wet. It's because we're in the middle of uh, a hurricane, and you know, it's uh, very wet. And I don't have power at my house, but I got power here. So we're going to do it. We're not going to miss another week. So there you go. <laughs> But today we are talking about building, it's like building a company, building more, right? Everybody's worried about the whole like, you know, I'm going to hit a million dollar kind of idea and they, they want to have a thing that they can brag about. But there's lots of pieces to that puzzle. There's a lot of pieces to that puzzle, right? And we kind of don't always plan on that if you're in the world of social media which is uh, a dumpster fire right now but if you are you're seeing people starting to get bored and maybe losing a little bit of sight on um kind of business so i thought you know what let's talk again about building building the company a lot of people want to start window cleaning you know especially when it comes into um TikTok and there's a lot of that stuff where people you know say there's one way to do things and they get fake numbers and all this other stuff to kind of create this uh attention but the fact of the matter is in business you can build this business into something and I'll, i'm going to give you a, a a weird analogy to kind of start but here it is business itself is like a baby it's like having a kid if you have children you kind of understand this if not you'll kind of get it but when you have a kid you have a baby in the very beginning you do everything they don't move they can't roll over they can't do anything so you have to like really 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 give it everything and focus on every one of its little you know things and it's fragile and right as you start going and all of a sudden you got a toddler right it's kind of doing its thing but now it's getting into more mischief you're finding more issues this business is you know, in a couple years, it's kind of changed a little bit, right? The business is kind of doing its own thing, but you're finding a bunch of issues. You're finding some things you want to work on. It's kind of sloppy, right? And then you get into like the school years, right? It gets in, it starts to do its thing. It starts to kind of have some momentum. It can go play with its friends. Your business starts to have its own kind of energy to it. And then it turns into a teenager and you're like, all right, I don't know, I kind of you know getting out of uh enjoying this as much you know some of you know teenagers are a bit rough getting you prepared to let them move out of the house and then you know what some people sell their businesses uh if they've built it to sell and it's like getting your kid married off right now it's somebody else's problem but you still have this passion for this thing you created that's business and it's a big difference between a job and a company that's I've done whole shows on that. The idea that what you're creating is a job versus like a company. And man, if you've ever looked at stuff out there, by the way, I'm here to help anybody ever. So if you're um, listening to this, uh, I'll give you my number. It's 862-312-2026. That's a cell. Text me. Call me. Whatever. But a lot of people are like, okay, well, if I don't do door knocking which is everywhere, and people think that that's the right thing to do, which it's your business, do whatever you want. But if I don't do that, what do I do? Everything else, anything else, right? There's a difference between a job and a company. Like if you've got a job, somebody goes, hey, uh, I got windows to clean, and you go, cool, and you do it, and then you just high five, take the check, and go on. That's just a job. You just clean somebody's window for money. But a business is that like thing, right? Big difference between a company and a job, a job and a business, a job 
and a business that you're creating. And that's the one thing that I think people sometimes forget. That there's different things in a company than there is kind of in a job. And with a company, you have to build a structure. You have to build a thing, right? And building a company is harder than a job. Everything that we do, every one of you, and I don't know anything from anybody, so I'm just speaking here, but you started this as a job. You started this as like, hey, I'm going to clean windows. I started cleaning windows. Did a couple of them. You're like, ah, man, I'm making pretty good money. I got to go get some more customers. We started that way. And then at some point, you turn and go, you know what? I could make this into a company. Now you have a whole nother structure. You got a whole nother thing. And I'll tell you the biggest difference that you can do to build a company versus a job. The biggest thing you can do is to get out of the field. Now, if you're not good at business, then this may not be always the best. But the only way that you're going to grow a thing into a company versus a job is to get out of the field. And if you don't want to do that, and you're like, dude, no, I just, I want to like make my 100K a year. I want to do this thing relax. It's, it's great. That's awesome. Absolutely no wrong way to do this. But if you're trying to build a company, you want to have an asset to kind of sell. You have to get out of the field because you are so much more than just somebody who's cleaning windows. And for all of you, those who are out there doing this kind of as a one-man show, you are still the one cleaning windows and the one trying to create a business. Even if you're out there cleaning for eight hours, how much time on top of eight hours can you really put into the business, building business? So if you're in there, you're not out of the field, you're in the field, you're going to be building your business slower. So getting out of the field allows you to build and the work to get done by people who are doing the work, right? I mean, the real truth of this is, and um, you can send me angry emails however you want, but the real truth is that anybody can clean windows. Now, it takes time to get good. It takes time to get fast. It takes a brain to see what's going on and do you know work that is good enough to pass and, and move on to the next thing. But anybody can kind of do that. Not anybody can run a business or create a business or build a business fast or strong or good or hit that million dollar mark. That comes back to you and if it's something that you have in you. Like if your brain works that way and you're great at business, you mean you're listening to a podcast about window cleaning, you're a business nerd, that's just what we are, right? But if that's what you're doing, you have to focus. Now, if you're out in the field or not in the field, what if you did eight hours a day on your business growth? Now, we're firefighters, so yeah, you're doing some things. Maybe you're doing a couple of screens. You're helping the guys. You're going on the field. You got to run them something. Like, there's a lot of things that will pull your brain up. But what if you just did eight hours a day on the business side, the growth, the sales, the, 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 the frequency, all the things that create this business and create this strong super strong ball of awesomeness. That's what getting out of the field is. That is everything from getting out and doing sales, is calling people, is making sure your schedule and repeats are there. There's so many little pieces that don't get done when you're out in the field. And I'll tell you, for the most part, I think, these are my dumb you know, rules to live by for me, you don't have to be the same. 100%, 99.99% of your jobs should be bid on the phone first. 90% of your customers, and I'd like to see it higher, but 90 is a, a very ach achievable uh, goal, of your customers should be repeat, meaning almost every single customer you have should be automatically just doing every six months. I think that your passive and active marketing should be on point. Your reviews should be amazing. Your referrals should be off the chain, right? Your ads should be getting split tested. All of these things. You can't do this stuff when you're out in the field. You just can't. 
to build this company. Like you can in small bits, but to really build it, you got to get you out of the field. And I'll tell you another thing, just as a rule, if you're the single guy or girl and you're out there cleaning, it's great. You're making hundred K a year cleaning. It's you. That's fantastic. The asset you have is not worth much. If you have a hundred thousand dollar a year business and you're the one doing it, if I buy that, I have to take all of the labor out of that. Now I'm looking at okay, what would be profit? For all of that work, I gotta find somebody to do it, I gotta get the equipment to do it, I gotta right. I'm not buying an asset, I'm just buying a list of people who are getting their windows cleaned. It's not guaranteed. So that hundred thousand you did, if I buy it, I still have to do the work or get somebody to do the work. So that cuts off like a big chunk of that. And then I have to assume that 20% of those people won't come, right? Now you look at that business is worth very, very little because it's a job. It's a good job, but it's a job. Now, if I have a company that has staff and trucks and reoccurring and positive growth, and somebody could literally just be like, yeah, I'm in and nothing else changes. The business is running. That's an asset. Now I'm buying a business, not a job. Because now I could put a bunch into it or I could put a little into it. But the less you're needed, needed, not for growth, but just needed, the more valuable the thing is. Right? If I said, hey, give me $100,000 and I'll give you this thing, you're just gonna start making, you know, $20,000 a month. Profit in your pocket. You don't even have to do anything. That's so much more valuable to everybody versus, hey, give me $100,000 and I'll give you a job that you have to work 10 hour days and panic in winter when things slow down. There's a big difference. So the difference between a job and a company is big. It's getting out of the field. It's being able to build that thing, right? And I talked about it already, but frequency is it. Frequency is like the big piece to this whole puzzle. Because the thing is, is that if you're just out there cleaning, if you're just, you, you go and you clean the windows and you move on, you say, thanks for the check. You got to find more people. This is the problem with these door knocking people. A door knocking person where they're like, I just go out there and I sell, I can sell $1,500 worth of work. Well, neat. But that took you all day to get that. And now you're going to spend all the next day doing the work. And then you're going to spend the third day going to find more people. Because the way you get into door knocking, you're not making super ecstatic people. You're, you know, making things uncomfortable to begin with. Your repeat rate is incredibly low doing that. And that's even if you focus on that, which most of the door knocking people don't. And now you're just finding yourself work every day. You're a day laborer of like, you know, standing in the parking lot of a Home Depot waiting for somebody to pop by to give you work. Like when somebody goes, well, then what am I supposed to do? Build a business. That, that takes time. You, you don't do that in the summer, right? Like the, the reality is, is you can have a job over a summer. You can't build a thriving business in just one summer. Like that's an ongoing thing. And frequency is it. Frequency is the piece we already talked about. So many people lose that momentum of their business because they don't focus on that. And you're probably someone who could have, who could increase the focus on frequency because I'm guessing every single company anywhere could. The idea is to get people to continue to come back to you, but not on their time, not when they think about it. Because guess what? Windows get dirty uniformly. So a six month window looks kind of dirty, but a two year window, by the time they notice the windows are dirty, they're really dirty because they're looking through the window. So now if you let your customer decide, it's on their time. So now it takes two years for them to realize. And that's even if they remember who you are, which they used you once, they're probably not remembering, right? Maybe they'll call another window cleaner. Maybe they will get you, but now you're cleaning two months of two years of dirt. Like if you can get them on every six months, they don't need to remember your name because it's set. You're going to do a reminder. You're going to keep up with them. 
you're going to have reasons to contact them about other things. And if it's uh, fall, maybe gutter cleaning is something that you can let them know. You also do. Like keeping that person into your company is huge. That is what makes a company versus a job. I'm just going to hit my computer there. But that's how you're building your empire. You're building this thing. Like, again, think about coming in and me saying, okay, I got $100,000 worth of work. And every one of my customers for the past two years is every six months. Just regular rotations. We clean it. We book them right there. That's like as close to guaranteed as we can have it. If I just say, oh, yeah, we did this much last year and, and I got uh, 100 customers. Yeah, but I can't, you can't tell me any of those customers are going to use you again. So there's a difference. Frequency is going to be huge. Frequency is going to be the game changer. It's going to be the one pin to the difference between really strong companies that are just moving. They have their own momentum, their own life, their own everything versus somebody who's just got a job. It also is the difference between somebody who's experienced in this and somebody who's new. A new person doesn't have frequency yet. So it's a huge struggle getting the thing off the ground. I always say it's like a car, you know, stalling. That part where you're pushing just to get it start mo rolling is the hardest part. Once it starts rolling, it's got a little bit of its own momentum. Less work on you for it to go, right? Okay, I got to take a quick second to tell you about our sponsor, me. My name is Jersey from windowcleaner.com. This is the sh shameless plug. I would love to be your rep. Uh, slow times, busy times, big purchases, little purchases, every single time you put an order and I would love, love to be the guy. And it's genuinely you doing me a favor by doing that. Uh, all you have to do is text me at 862-312-2026. Let me know. Hey, Jersey, everything's in your cart. I would love to put that in. It costs you nothing extra, not a penny more. And I get credit for it. And I can continue to live. And it really genuinely makes me happy. So thank you to everybody who lets me put orders in. And if you're not yet, let me do that. I would love to help you with questions. I would love to help you with everything. But more importantly, 862-312-2026 is my cell phone. Save it, keep it, call me, text me, let me know. Also, if you haven't, yet taking a look at the new America Window Cleaner magazine. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, this magazine, the new version, uh, the new style, the new everything is so good. It's so good. It's such an awesome magazine to uh, read. So go to AWC, American Window Cleaner, awcmag.com forward slash sub. Just go to AWC. Just click on subscribe. Get yourself a magazine. It comes to your door every single month. Real paper magazine you can read on the toilet. It also comes with a sticker sheet that, of course, you need to have in your life. You need to have it in your life. I'm telling you. So go and go do that. Okay. Shameless plug. I gotta do a shameless plug. They work. Eventually, I can wear some of you down. <laughs> and you let me... Uh, be a rep. And I appreciate that genuinely. And there's a lot of you that go back and just start binging every episode too, which is phenomenal. Those are like the troopers, man. There's like 300 hours of shows. Maybe not 300 hours. What? 200 hours. Anyway, it's a lot. So congrats to all of you. Okay. So in business and building an empire, there's also two sides to the growth. Now, if you have 10 customers right now, all of them do it every six months, you have a company that has a yearly amount. You're getting money every year because it's reoccurring. To get bigger, you have to bring stuff in. Now, if you don't have the repeat, then it's very hard to get bigger because you just have to keep getting in new stuff more than the last time. This is where the whole door knocking philosophy kind of falls. You have to have the frequency, but you also have to have new stuff so that every time you get new people in, they get into that rotation of every six months. So now I can add five or 10 new customers a month 
and I'm building this company up crazy. I can get 100 new customers every year. They're a frequency. That means I'm going to have 100 customers more in you know new work next year because of the frequency stuff. So that's how that growth happens. Growth is bigger, being bigger than you were last year. But in that, there's two pieces. There's passive advertising and active advertising. And both of those need to have attention. Passive ac- uh, passive advertising, passive, is going to be like SEO. SEO, by far, is the absolute most phenomenal thing you could do for your company. It is an ongoing thing. You don't have to do anything except for one time call uh, Justin Monk. Dude, I've known forever. A lot of you use him. A lot of window cleaners use him. He owns a window cleaning company too, but he owns an SEO and website company. It's phenomenal. But that guy does what he says he's doing. He's 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 building sites. He's making them index. He's ranking, and you're going to get seen. That's one thing. You do that, that is just on autopilot. Forever. You'll get most of your customers from that, and you don't have to do anything after hiring them one time. That's passive. They can take care of that. You're going to pay Monk SEO money to do the SEO. They're going to be active in it, not you. That's passive for you. The other side is active. Active for you is sales. That's you going out and finding things. That's you putting ads out, Facebook ads, Google AdWords, maybe five ups, five arounds, right? All of those things, active and passive. Passive is getting people and having reviews. There's other companies like that that will catch reviews and help you get reviews. Uh, nice Jobs, one of them. Uh, by the way, if you're listening right now, I'm going to try to put it in, but Quote IQ, uh, I actually just got a link for you guys if you want to try that. I think it's like the first month for a buck. So I'll put that in the comments if you're on YouTube uh, or anywhere. I'm going to put that, start putting that in there. I forgot to, to mention it, but anyway, super rad program. But in all these other stuff that I'm talking about, There are each pieces of the puzzle, right? Getting reviews, just stay out there. As long as you don't upset Google, they're there. When somebody searches and then you find you on maps, you can actually rank in maps, which, I mean, to pay to rank in maps is like sponsored in the number one thing that's on there anyway. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know you could even do that, but you can in advertising, you have to split test. Somebody who puts an ad out there and they've had it out for a month and they go, ah, it does all right. You should be changing the ad every single day. Every single two days, you should change that ad. Well, that's a lot of work. Yeah, it is. This is why it's so amazing when people do build businesses, they build them strong and they build them fast and got their stuff together. You have to have new ads, you have to test them. Ads or active, and there's passive stuff. You gotta have both. If you're doing ads, or say you're handing out door hangers and you don't have the passive side, say you're not paying for SEO. You're doing yourself such an injustice because you're working 300 times harder to get half the, the, the stuff. And everybody else who's doing that or both is gonna pass you up. There's two sides to that always two sides to that just like there is in getting new customers versus existing customers there's so many facets to business that we kind of forget about sometimes and we forget about the facets and focus more on the excitement of a new person and we forget all of the things that come into that new person but you have to do your active and you have to do your passive you have to do both and i always say this is like People go, well, you know, again, this is one that um, people always say, hey, I think you're talking to me because this is what I have. I'm not talking about you specifically, but the difference between a vehicle wrap and a magnet, there is a huge price difference. We're talking thousands for a wrap, a hundred bucks for a magnet. But the idea and what it does is so much more valuable, Right? A magnet is better than nothing, but a magnet is temporary on your car, and it shows that you have a temporary mindset in your business. If you show up with a magnet, you're like, oh, 
Okay. Guy kind of cleans windows and then is an Uber Eats driver or something. Right? You get a rap. Not only is it eye catchy, but more people go, whoa, this is a legit thing. And then they, they right? So having something like that is going to bring you in a better yield. It's going to give you a better return, but it costs more. It's like that when people are like, you know, oh, I rank really well. Whoa, you do it. You having SEO? No. I just rank really well. Are you in incognito mode or are you just searching your website and you think you you find it, right? There's a lot of pieces that go into the puzzle. A lot of things that make it work. And not everybody can do all of them at the same time, which is totally cool. But when you look at a company that does things faster than others, you see these companies like, man, this guy's brand new and he's doing $2 million. The guy's been in business for two years. You're like, well, I don't know. He must be in a good market. He must be. It must be. It should be, well, I have, well, it's like this for me. There's so many things when you compare yourself to somebody else, instead of the fact, the knowledge is there. The, the action is there. The steps are there. You guys know that I do um, some private stuff. I don't talk about it too much because I don't do a ton of private coaching, but I do. Uh, it's relatively uh, exclusive, if you will, because I only do four people but a lot of times when i talk to people who are doing this vetting process right so uh, we have a slot open and we end up doing some um some uh kind of application stuff and kind of seeing where people are they tend to have more of an outside thing of like well i'd like to do this as a goal but not on how they're going to get there and as soon as you focus everything and go, okay, hey, let's put it into this package. This is what we're going to do. It's a lot of work, but I'm down. Let's do it. Those people can change their company so incredibly fast that when we talk about this stuff, active and passive and all this stuff, and you're like, yeah, that's a lot of work. It is. And the guys that can do that are on a whole nother side. It's a whole nother feel. And no, maybe you're not going to be the biggest. You don't want to be the biggest. You don't want to whatever, but maybe you want to be stronger. Maybe you want to make a little more money. Maybe you want to have a little bit bigger business. Maybe it's exciting to you to do that. All this stuff, there's so many pieces to it. It gets to the last kind of idea, and it's the difference between strengthening yourself and growing. Growing is size. You have to do that strong. Right? You can't build a 10-story building on a one-story building's foundation. you got to build a foundation first. got to do it. It's got to be done right. Your systems have to be in play. Building a big company takes so much more work than just getting some more people. But the strength comes in that also. Strengthening a company. If you're a one-man show, you can still strengthen your company. Absolutely. You can let some people go that aren't in the right price or the tier or the jobs that just take you 10 times longer to do the same price, start getting better customers, start to raise those a little bit, get those frequencies. And you could have your customer base be in this rotation of six months with the dentist close. And you don't even have to get new people. You don't have to advertise. You don't have to do anything. And it's just a rotation of awesomeness every month. You could have your December booked out already. You're not panicking, right? Strengthening your company is something that makes it harder to fail. The failure is always an option. Always. But the point is, is that you can do enough things that make it so close to impossible to fail that you're strong. You're a stronger company. A strong company are the ones that made it through COVID. I hate even saying the word, but it's the truth. There was a time where a lot of us lost a lot of business and the strong ones made it through. So many companies went under because they weren't strong. Like, Why? Well, I didn't know this was coming. Nobody did. But yet some people made it and some people didn't. And that's the difference between strengthening and growing. You can grow without being strong and those ones fall even harder. I know companies who have done this like burnout thing. Where all of a sudden they're like, oh my God, in two years they hit the million dollar mark and they're like, oh, I got all these trucks and, uh, and then their company falls apart because they lose, you know, seven employees in one weekend because somebody gets angry or whatever. 
Like there is such a failure rate when you get bigger, but the stronger you are as a company, the less likely it'll happen. And if you're still listening and you're a new company thinking about getting into it, do not for one second think that your job, the office you go to, the whatever is more secure than starting your own business because that's the big thing people have when they start. They, they're they scared that they're going to fail. All the boss has to do is say one time, yeah, we just don't need you. You're done. We're gonna, we got to let you go. You're gone. When you start your business, you're in control of success or failure. And if you have a thousand customers, you have to get fired a thousand times to fail. And people sometimes forget that. You build your success, but you also build your failure. Right? Right. Well, do me the biggest favor. Let me put your orders in. Just let me. I would really like it. Uh, give me a call. Shoot me a text. Even better. 862-312-2026 is my cell phone. Tell me what kind of name brand thing I can buy with all of those multiple pennies of commission money I can make. So tell me what I get. Uh, and also get a subscription. American Window Cleaner Magazine. Get yourself your stickers every month. Get your magazine every month. Be one of the cool kids. AWCMAG.com. Uh, like I said, I should have that uh, quota Q thing too. Cool. Uh, just, I got it. I thought you guys might want it, so I'll put it in there. But until next week, go out there and build an empire. Strengthen your empire and focus on that growth. But more importantly, go out there and be epic.